I think poetry gives to all people, and especially young people, a chance to really work out their response to the world around them. For us as a school, obviously, it's an area that, that has that background with poetry, and we, want, we really wanted to get our own children involved in that. There are children who perhaps you know, enjoy that sort of more sort of introverted moment. Poetry allows them to do that in a, in a space that's really quite small and therefore feels kind of manageable. So we absolutely think as many young people as possible should enter the competition. In terms of what the children are going to actually win, they're going to have the Fantastic Cup, they have the opportunity to win book tokens, there'll be the prize giving event at our own sacred theatre, They'll have another opportunity to perform at um, the, the Albrook Festival itself, the Poetry Normal Festival. We are taking part in an open mic. And Jacqueline Safra is coming to, uh, to run that. You know, there'll be 24 young people who are probably full of absolute joy that they've, that they've been kind of recognised in this way. I'm really, really pleased that, that we've got the judges that we have. Fred Ellis and Ian Griffiths are both former chair people of Suffolk Poetry Society. So we're absolutely delighted to have those two judging the poems. So we've got the juniors and the seniors and basically that covers seven to 18 year olds. So lots and lots of people can enter it. It's through writing their own work, that is actually a really empowering thing to do in response to the feelings you have about the world. So I really hope that you know teachers kind of encourage their, their students to sort of take that opportunity to craft something small and beautiful. Um, so I hope that appeals to people as well, I'm sure it will.